So how's it going today guys? Back here with another video. Today we're going to be opening up some of these new highlight reel packs here in NBA 2K23 my team. We have a new Dark Matter Kobe, we have a new Dark Matter Anthony Davis, we have Opals, um, Gary Payton, Blake Griffin, Josh Smith, and the human highlight reel himself, Dominique Wilkins, very appropriate card for these packs. We have Pink Diamond Lance Stevenson, we have James Wiseman, Dion Waiter, CJ Miles, and Cam Reddish. And also Lou Williams as well. So, pretty good set, I would say. I mean, Gary Payton is a pretty good card. Josh Smith will be decent. Some of these pink diamonds will be decent. But I really think it's getting to the point where it's just kind of everyone just cares about the dark matters. And that's about it. That's kind of the point that we're getting to in my team, I would say. And there are some new cards in game modes as well. Like we got Zion and Triple Threat. And Jokic is available somewhere too. We've got. Who do we got in triple threat offline? It looks like the same. And then there will be cards available on Clutch Time and Unlimited as well. So I think it's like here. Let's see if we can get this to pull up. Yeah, we got Zion available in triple threat. We got Jokic available somewhere. Tatum available somewhere. And then some other various pink diamonds and diamonds. So, I mean, kind of mid cards available. But Jokic is a huge W wherever he's available at. And then... Just the fact that they even did that is a W, because, you know, that's something that they don't have to do, but I think it is a W that they put other reward cards in the modes, and I would assume that they, should, they will probably be unauctionable as well. But again, man, I think that's a good thing. I think that's a great thing, actually. Kind of adds a little bit of incentive to play. I mean, I know that we already have the game mode rewards, um, like, you know, your Billy Knight, your Mike Bantam and stuff, but even another card added on top of that is pretty, uh, pretty dope, so I think that's great. But yeah, let's see what we got going for the odds in these packs. We got a 28% for a pink diamond. We got a 10% for a galaxy opal. And we have a sub 2% for dark matter, man. So I'm not even going to say what I want in this video or what I'm hoping to pull. Because you guys already know that. You guys already know what I'm hoping to pull and what I haven't pulled yet. So I'm just not even going to mention it, honestly. And we will see what we can pull today. But yeah, man, before we do start ripping packs, please uh, consider subscribing. We do pack openings every time that packs are dropped, are dropped that are open with MT. And we also do other My Team content as well, man. So, yeah, and we'll also be doing a giveaway at 500 subscribers. And then also leave a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. That's always appreciated. But without further ado, man, we got 400K. So that's enough for, I don't know, um, between 20 and 30 packs. We'll see what we can pull here today, man. But... First pack. Let's see what's going on. Looks like we are going to get something out of the first pack. What do we got? Shaker in the left center. I'm going to start things off with a pink diamond. So there's not really anyone in particular pink diamond was that I'm hoping to pull. It looks like it's CJ Miles. Or no, Jazz. Oh yeah, it is CJ Miles. I don't know why I was thinking it was a Pacers. CJ Miles, but we'll take a little CJ. He's kind of one of those guys that kind of flies under the radar. He was he was really good, you know, for a little while, and kind of got just gets overlooked now. But he had his time, man. He really did. And he was a great player for a little while. So second pack, we've got a gold Andre Iguodala. Who, you know, is always going to be on highlight reel forever, but in a reverse type of role, in the way that you do not want to be on the highlight reel, if you if you know you know. I'm sure that most of you do. Alright, third pack. We've got an emerald. This is kind of giving me vibes. I can't even remember what the set was called in 2K20. Um... I th it was the one that locked in for um, Go Cream, though, I believe. And it was kind of like this Hollywood type theme set, kind of like this a little bit. It's giving me vibes of that for sure, man. There's no question about that. All right. Let's get back to the Shakers, man. Now we're going to get a gold Jeff Green and a, an, an emerald Russell Westbrook. Ok, 
Okay, this one should be something here. Got a shaker in the left center. Let's level up here. Let's let's get an opal on this one. Nope, it's gonna be another pink diamond in the same spot. Let's see what we got this time. Oh, that's gonna be curry, man. And I was looking a little bit at the market before this too. It is not very obvious what the auto buyer is right now. I kind of wasn't really able to figure it out just because there's so many cars being put up right now. But um, it looks like it's going to be either like 6250, 6750, maybe even 5750, something like that. So it definitely went down. I just don't know exactly where it is at, but it'll be a lot more evident within the next couple hours, I would say. And I did in my last pack opening kind of show how you can figure that out what the auto buyer indeed is. Okay, this one, that was a pretty aggressive glitch. Let's see what we got. Shaker in the right center. We've got another pink diamond. We got a sapphire, Rudy Gobert. This one looks like it's gonna be Dion Waiters. So I will take that, man. I mean, I wish that his time with the heat didn't end the way that it did, but hey man, it is what it is. And also, another thing too with today, and then anytime that packs drop the night after, bid snipes are going to be super prevalent, man, for these pink diamonds. So just keep an eye out for that. And even for opals to a certain extent as well. And that's kind of, just wait for a little while though, because it's kind of hard to tell exactly what these cars are going to go for at this point, because packs literally just came out like an hour ago, so. Just kind of keep an eye out, and then tonight, bid sniping will be very prevalent. Okay, we do have another shaker on the left. Gonna be an amethyst, wow. It's kind of just like a slap in the face to get an amethyst at this point, but. We got that, the amethyst Dallas Maverick Kyrie Irving for probably close to the 50th time I've pulled that card by now, I would say. It's going to be around that point. And also, man, I gotta say something about my Minnesota Vikings really quick. So, we released Eric Kendricks a couple days back now, and we released Adam Thielen today. Now, everyone in the comments of these posts that I'm seeing are like, oh, they're just they're just um, letting everyone go to pay Jefferson and all this and that, and that is not what it is at all. That is the most casual thing, like, take that I've ever heard on that. First of all, Jefferson said that he's willing to take a pay cut, just as some of our other players have said, that they are willing to take a pay cut to stay with the team. So that's the first thing that kind of goes against that. And the second thing is, Eric Hendricks is getting released because he was a, he was an all-pro player for many years in his career. And, you know, there was a couple of years there where you could have argued he was the best linebacker in the entire NFL. But last year he was terrible. So that's why he got released. And Thielen... I think it's it's time for Osborne, KJ Osborne, to be our WR2. I mean, I think he earned that with what he did last year, so that's why Thielen got released. It has nothing to do with having to pay Jefferson or any of that, so I don't want to hear any more of that. I know if this is a 2K channel, but I just had to mention that. So... But yeah, man, this week in basketball, though, NBA-wise, and of course, March Madness-wise, I mean, there's some great basketball coming up very soon, so it should be good. I don't know what it is with the Heat. Both my teams is Heat and the Vikings this year. The Vikings had the most one-score victories ever in the NFL, and now the Heat have played, like, are on pace for that. They're on, the, on pace for the most one-score margin games in NBA history. It's just kind of crazy. I guess it's made for an exciting season for both my teams, though, this year in sports. Alright, that, that was a nice glitch there. Let's see what we got. Shaker on the left.
Okay, we do have an opal, so I will definitely take that. Who do we got? We've got Jokic, wow. That's kind of brutal. NBA Series 2 Jokic. And he's hollow, I guess, but does that matter? No. <laughs> yeah, that's that's kind of rough. Not even a coward from the set on 2K. Well, still got a few packs remaining. Well, we're not even halfway there yet. I don't know what I'm talking about, but Let's see what we got here. And it was really weird, man. It was... I don't think it was yesterday. I think it was Wednesday. I was opening up some of those uh, new edition packs right there. And out of like six packs, I pulled three Danny Grangers and one Embiid. So that was the best stretch of opals I've had all year. No question. Four opals in six packs. It was pretty insane. I was like, what is going on? And then, of course, I kept ripping, hoping to pull a you-know-what. But... Didn't happen. Okay, we got another amethyst. Gonna be Donovan Mitchell. Okay, what do, we, what do we got on this one here? We got another shaker. I'm just gonna flip all on this one. And we do have another opal. At least be someone from the set. And it looks like it's going to be the human highlight reel, Dominique. So, I will take that, man. I will definitely take that. He's one of those cards that I usually like for some reason. Like, he always gets kind of thrown under the bus, or like, just kind of not used. He's a card that's not used when he comes out, but he's a card that I always like when he comes out for some reason. I, I usually like his jump shot, I like his donking ability, um, I usually like his dribble six more than other people do for some reason, so I'll probably give him a try, is kind of what I'm saying. Because I think, you know, he's a card that just continually gets slept on. Is it going to be great on the defensive end? No, but he'll be decent. He'll be competent enough on defense and then on offense. I think he'll be really good, so. Alright, what do we got here? Anything? Yep. It is something. We got a holographic glory Markkinen. And we have another pink diamond. Eastern Shooting Guard, number one. Pacers. Oh, yeah, this is Lance Stevenson. Okay. I mean, his diamond is really good. So I can only assume that this pink diamond will be pretty decent as well. So we're down to about ten packs left now. Let's see if we can clutch something out here. Shaker on the right. We've got another Amethyst. Yeah, they need to take those shakes out. Like, as soon as possible. Shooting guard number 45. And it is again, probably... All these amethysts in this series, too, I, I think I've probably pulled close to 50 times each by now. Like, dead serious. Maybe not each one close to 50 times, but you know what I'm saying, man. I mean, I'm getting tired of seeing them. Alright, man, so we're about eight packs left, we're looking like. We've got Dominic Wilkins, we've got a few of the pink diamonds in the mix. We've got another shaker here in the left center. And another opal. Okay. Let's get another card from the set. And it looks like it is. We got a Gary Payton, so I'll take that. 
He's going to be really good, I feel like. I just kind of have a feeling. I mean, Gary Payton the last couple years just has been good, though. I mean, he wasn't good at all in 20. In 21, I don't really remember him being good. He might have been, but last year and this year, Gary Payton's been great. Especially last year, honestly, but I, I still think he'll be really good. That opal card. Okay, looks like we got something else here. An amethyst in the middle. Scared me for just a, a split second there, not gonna lie. It's gonna be James Harden. Someone else here, it looks like. Pink diamond, dead center. Give me a couple dead center cheese in a row. Who do we got here? Eastern point guard. Number, oh, it's Lou Williams, I believe. And this card, when I was looking for to see if I could pinpoint the pink diamond auto buyer, this was the card that was going for like dirt cheap, as well as the current series cards as well, but. Lou Williams seems to be, at least right now, the cheapest pink diamond in the set. For good reason, I mean, because he's just so tiny, but... He'll still be fun in offline. I mean, at this point in the year, all the cards will be fun in offline. That's just kind of the way that it is. It's just when you're running people online, is when you got to worry about height and animations and all that kind of stuff. Which, of course, you know, it's kind of obvious, but. Alright, man, so we got about four packs left. Let's clutch something out, man. Got a gold Jade and Ivy. Sapphire, Fred Van Vliet. Two packs left. Come on, 2K. You know what we're looking for, man. Okay, what is this one going to be? Anything? Yes, Shaker on the right. Another Opal here would be nice. I would like to see that. It's going to be another pink diamond. Let's see Cam Reddish. I don't think we've seen him yet. Oh, it's going to be another Dion Waiters. Alright, man. We're down to that time. Final pack. Let's check some of the values on these cards. I'm just kind of curious. Anthony Davis, about 600k. Kobe's are all the way up at 1.5. My goodness. And then Dominique's going to be very cheap, I would assume. Probably, you know, like right around that 30k mark, I would say. Gary Payton might be a little bit more, though. He might be like 40 or 50. Alright, man. Final pack of the day. Let's see if we can clutch something out. Yeah, the, the 10 box. I don't know why this year, but the 10 box always looks better than the 20. Just like the pack art of it. I don't know why. Okay, I think we are going to get something here. Yeah, we do have a shaker here on the final pack. Opal, last pack, cheese? No, it's going to be an amethyst. Wow. Well, another day, another day of no dark matters, but 
hey, you know, I know it's still gonna, it's gonna come at some point. I can't, uh, you know, I just know that it's gonna come at some point, and when it does, it'll be great. That's what I will say, because, I don't know, some people I've seen open up, you know, 6 million MT of packs without even pulling a Dark Matter and stuff like that, so, th I mean, that's probably a lot worse than what I've opened. I think we did the math, um last video and it was like 2.5 million out of Friday packs and it's getting to be probably about a million out of Tuesday packs too so 3.5 just opened 4k of these today so 3.9 and then I'll probably open up another four or five hundred K of these packs over the weekend as well so that'll be um what was that 3.9 so yeah that'll be like 4.5 million or something like that so yeah, that's kind of what we're looking at right now. But not too bad overall. I mean, Gary Payton, I feel like, is a decent pull. I feel like Dominique's an alright pull, too. I mean, I'll have fun using Dominique, because like I said, I have fun using Dominique cards. But hope that you guys did enjoy the video, man. I know that I did. Um, I'll be back with another pack opening at some point this weekend with these packs again. We'll be back with some more uh, videos from the Auction House Tip Series soon. be back with some more... Um, just MT tips and general videos soon. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Make sure to subscribe if you are new, man. We're on the road to 500 subscribers. We'll do a giveaway then. And also leave a like on the video. Leave a comment down below before you take off. That's always much appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next vid.